Okay everyone, welcome back again to another Fox Tech video. This time we talk about the keyboard on your iPad and how you can go ahead and somehow edit the keyboard. Now, there are a few ways what you may mean by that and that is by, of course you can find out about it by going to the settings, general, and then you can find the keyboard right here. So once you go inside, you can find all of the settings which you can customize in terms of the keyboard. Most of it are just toggles. So you can see, for example, auto correction. You might have it turned on, you might switch it off. For example, caps lock, shortcuts. Um, you can see all of the stuff, predictive text, checking for spelling, the dot shortcut, which essentially when you double tap the space bar, it will assert a, a period or like the dot there. So yeah, there are plenty of different things which you can go ahead and customize in terms of keyboards. However, other things which you can customize include different languages. So if you click on the keyboards at the top, you might add a new language to the keyboard, which can be accessed right here. So if you just go to keyboard anywhere and hold down on the globe, you can switch in between those. And from here, you can also get to the settings in case you wanna come back. So this already is very useful and this is how you can customize or edit your keyboard. Besides that, on most iPads, you can pinch in and make the keyboard smaller, which is also another form of editing because you can like make it different. You can pinch it in to zoom it in once again, or you can hold down on the minimize icon and click on the floating to switch to a different one. So yeah, there are some things which you can customize and edit and change. However, we're still talking about iPad OS and as you know, it's very limited. So the whole point is that you can only do as much with the stock keyboard. Besides that, I've mentioned it a couple of different times, you can get some cool third-party keyboards which can be integrated pretty well inside of the entire iPad OS. Some of the popular ones include a Gboard from Google, which of course has much more things to customize and edit. And the same thing applies to the Microsoft Swift key. So when you go ahead and click on that, you can see that I can use AI with the keyboard as well. I can just choose a background behind my keyboard, which is definitely something you can't do on the stock one. And you can also just check out some different settings. Yeah, so if you wanna edit your keyboard even beyond the capabilities of iPad OS keyboard, then you have to download a third party one. Besides that, you can also just see like very fancy keyboards with like different letters and making everything look nice. Yeah, it may be fun, but for like everyday using, I would recommend you these two keyboards. So these are all the things which I wanted to say when it comes to editing your iPad keyboard. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Check out the Fox Tech educational platform below, which is going to be much more focused on iPads now. So go ahead and check it out and join. It's free for now. We'll see what's going to turn out later in the future. There are like some courses already available, but we'll see for now. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later in the future.